food for thought, vote value, vote principles, vote character, vote capacity, vote fairness, vote justice, vote equity. Make their choices of presidential and vice presidential candidates known. Their lack of value, lack of regard, lack of respect for the Nigerian people was affirmed. The extent to which the interests, the yearnings, and the aspirations and welfare of the people didn't matter to them was validated. The degree to which the people of the nation have been taken for a ride, taken for granted by the political class was authenticated. Their insensitivity, inconsideration, indifference, apathy, thoughtlessness and imperviousness to the needs, the feelings and the emotions of the Nigerian people was corroborated. It was made crystal clear. Why? One of the big two political parties in Nigeria chose a Muslim Nortana as presidential candidate despite the fact that the current president is of the same religion, an ethnic group with the same. Even the common principle of fairness, justice and equity instructs that if the presidency has been in the grip of a region and religion for as long as eight years, the most reasonable thing is for it to shift to the southern region and Christian religion for the sake of balance and inclusivity. The other of the two big political parties chose a Muslim presidential candidate and a Muslim vice presidential candidate. Can you see how much they have taken us for granted? In a multi-ethnic, multilingual, multicultural, multi-religious state as Nigeria. The fact is there are 36 states in Nigeria with 36 governors. 36 deputy governors. Out of 36 governors, 19 are Christians. That is 53%, more than half. Out of 36 deputy governors, 21 are Christians. That is 58%. Beyond that, of the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria, there is an extremely massive Christian population in the South South, Southeast, Southwest, North Central. That is already four over six. Even in the northeast, in Taraba, Adamawa, Gombe, etc., Christians are found in their numbers. Even in the northwest, in southern Kaduna, in Kebi, etc., these facts do not in any way speak of Christianity as a minority religion in this nation. Not at all. In fact, Christianity is far, very far from being a minority religion in Nigeria. People will actually be shocked when a true and realistic census is done in this nation. Yet, Christianity is despised to the point where not one person could be found to be the running mate to a Muslim presidential candidate despite such a very massive Christian population in Nigeria. Yet, Christianity has been the victim of relentless attacks on churches and communities. We have witnessed, especially in this administration, highly lopsided, nepotistic, ethnocentric, religiocentric appointments in all realms. The conclusion is, the two big political parties, as well as the leaders of our land, have shown us no value, no respect, no regard for the people of the nation. They are solely driven by personal interests and at times religious and ethnic interests. We are therefore left with no option than to totally reject the action of the two political parties. For insulting our collective sensibility, undermining our human dignity and desecrating our worth and value as a people. Only one credible, reasonable, sensible choice is left. Only one. Only one credible, reasonable, sensible choice is left. And you know. Do you know? You know. Vote value. Vote principles. Vote character. Vote capacity. Vote fairness. Vote justice. Vote equity. Stand up on your feet. And I'm asking Nigerians to entrust Nigeria and me.